A woman who was shot in the heart confronted the alleged gunman today, taking the witness stand at a major murder trial in Hamilton. A young couple is accused of shooting her and killing her partner in a Stony Creek parking lot before fleeing the country. Emily Taylor has been following the trial at John Sapinka Courthouse today and has the latest. Emily. Matt, the court heard from Jordan Romano today. She says this is the first time she's come face to face with the accused Lucy Lee and Oliver Carafa since that February 2021 night when she and her boyfriend were shot. Oliver Carafa and Lucy Lee were in court today, sitting across the room from Jordan Romano in the witness stand. The woman they are accused of shooting in the heart and the girlfriend of 39 year old Tyler Pratt, the man they're accused of killing. Romano told the Crown she felt uneasy being in the room, especially since the last time she saw Carafa and Lee was February 28, 2021. That's when the Crown argues Lee and Carafa lured Pratt and Romano to a property for sale on Arvin Avenue in Stony Creek under false pretenses. They expected the visit to be about a new marijuana business venture, but that's where the Crown alleges Carafa shot Pratt six times. Romano was also shot, and the court heard yesterday how she survived after crawling to the side of the road yelling for help. She lost her pregnancy that day. Romano says she and Pratt were so close they were like one person. Today, Romano testified that Pratt and Carafa were introduced by a mutual friend and went into business together, selling personal protective equipment to hospitals in Europe. The couple invested $470,000 into Carafa's PPE business. She told the court, we thought there was a lot of money in Europe. We were expecting millions of dollars. Romano said it wasn't a secret. Pratt made money by selling cocaine. Well, they started as business partners. Romano told the court, we considered them really good friends. We just had a good relationship. I don't know what more else to say because it's embarrassing that it was fake. She says the problem arose when they started asking for their investment back and for the profits to be paid. The court heard how Carafa was having trouble getting the money into Canada, and so Romano said she signed a fraudulent insurance policy for $1.5 million to help transfer the funds. She alleges that Lee created the policy through her mother's company. She says Lee planned to take $1 million from her mother's account to help pay without her knowing, and Carafa would supply the remaining $500,000. Romano expected to receive the money and finalize the policy on March 1st, the day after the pair were shot. Romano's testimony continues tomorrow, and we are expecting to hear about that night, February 28th, 2021, from her own words. For now, we'll go back to you.